Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Well, welcome to the update for Friday's card already, May 31st, 2024. Free play coming up in just a moment. We're going to talk a little WNBA action tonight. Uh, before I get to that, though, we do have a seven-star or seven-unit Major League Baseball play going on Friday's card. Now, my seven-unit plays in baseball going back to September 2nd, of 2022, almost two years ago, have cashed on a 70% clip. That's with baseball sides and totals. And I do have a side on tonight's card on Friday over on my homepage at DocSports.com if you want to jump on board. Uh, we're 3-0 plus 1,700 the last nine days with my top plays, my top sides and totals in Major League Baseball. And the overall top play run now sits at 210 and 147, up 25555 bucks going 4-1 with our last five. So let's look to cash again on Friday. I've also got a four-star play in the NHL, one last night with uh, Florida, and then a four-star play tonight in the WNBA. I passed last night's WNBA, but we're back in action on Friday's card. That's a premium play. Got a free play here in the uh, WNBA that I want to talk about, which is Las Vegas at Atlanta. Right now, I'm going to say about 70% of the books. I'm cutting this video, by the way, around 4 a.m. Eastern time, and about 70% of the books on my line service have this line sitting at eight and a half. Uh, the other 30% have Vegas and eight point favorites. So you now shop around, look for the best number if you want to jump on board and play along with me here in this game. But anyway, eight, eight and a half, bit of a bargain either way you look at it when it comes to Vegas and Atlanta hooking up. If you look at last year's final four matchups between these teams, those last four times these teams met, Vegas was favored by 16, 17, 13 and a half, and 11 and a half. And the 16 point line and the 11 and a half point line were both in Atlanta. So a little bit of a value here on, uh, on Las Vegas compared to those numbers. Uh, the Aces won all four of those games, by the way, and they did so by an average margin of 15 points per game. Off to a four and one start, the two time defending champs. They're not going to have, Ch well, they might have Chelsea Gray back tonight. She's listed as questionable. It would be her first uh, action of the season. But the thing is, this team is just so darn deep when you talk about uh, the Aces. I mean, Asia Wilson, Jackie Young, Kelsey Plum, all three averaging between 18 and a half and 26 points per game. So there's plenty of firepower on this team of Gray. Chelsea Gray's not ready. Uh, to return to the lineup quite yet. As far as Atlanta, they're a bit shorthanded too. They've got their own gray, Alicia Gray, and she is listed as questionable. She's got a thumb injury, so even if she plays, might be a little bit off. But the issue for Atlanta, they don't have the scoring depth that the Aces have, and I think that's what's going to come into play in this game, whether Chelsea Gray plays or not for Vegas. You look at Atlanta, they've covered just seven of their last 27 against teams that outscore their opponents. Uh, by an average margin of three or more points per game. Vegas easily doing that on the season. I'm going to back the Las Vegas Aces, my comp play uh, for Friday night. Again, the Aces minus the points. Star of the show for me is a seven-star play in baseball as we'll look to go to 211 and 147, go up over 26,000 uh, with these top plays. You can check it all out on my homepage over at DocSports.com. And if you want to leave some comments, I'll check them out late Friday afternoon. If you like the videos, please click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.